In this video, we are going to be discussing the marker function. And you'll notice down near the timeline, if we go to this drop down arrow, you'll see that there is a marker command there. Now we can either make the marker bar go away, or we can make it come back. And you'll see it visible there. And the marker function allows us to mark places on the timeline, either where we want to create a table of contents for our individual video or where we want to come back and we want to do something to the timeline. So let's say that there is a special element that you want to edit at a particular point in the video. Well, what you could do is you can mark it where the cursor is. And all you need to do is to go up here and then left click. Then I'll mark the area. You can then name that and you'll go up to the right hand side and you'll put in here whatever it is and you'll see the name there. You can come here and you can do the very same thing again. Just click inside of the marker area and being able to mark the timeline can be extremely handy when you are actually doing the editing so that you don't have to go back and redo entire portions. Once you note something that you're going to have to actually do something on the timeline you just want to go and mark it, just like we're doing here. You can also do this by hitting Control M, and that'll actually create a marker wherever your cursor is. Now, let's say that you actually want to mark things while you are recording, and that would make it especially handy. So let's take a look at the recording toolbar. The one thing you're going to want to make sure of is that you have the effects toolbar available. And you can do that by going to your recording toolbars, make sure that the effects are ticked then click OK and then you're gonna start the recording button and then while you're doing your recording what you can do is you can click marker when something happens or let's say that you're not saying what you want to say in the, in the video you can click marker and you can continue to click it and these markers will appear on your timeline when you actually get ready to edit the video and this will actually help you to know where to actually go to actually do the edits that you need to do. Of course, you can also use an alternative that we'll be talking about in a future video on editing specifically, but you can use the marker command to your advantage as you go. It's a great way of being able to mark things on the timeline so that you will actually know what's happening. Now, if we want to delete a marker, we can actually go back to the marker and click delete, and then our markers are no longer there. If we want to put them back, we can use the undo command. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.